everyone thank you very much for watching the previous video here in this video we're gonna be talking about parser if you remember in the last video we talk about this particular term right and i said that in the upcoming video we will discuss about this now is the time right so as per wikipedia parsing or syntax analysis or synthetic or synthetic analysis is the process of analyzing a string of symbols either in natural language computer language or data structures whatever it is which confirms the rule of formal grammar this is quite you know text document kind of definition if you understood it it's pretty well otherwise in layman term what we can say is parser is something which arranges the supplied input in a specific language grammatical tree for example let's talk about a english sentence which says loved romeo until his death juliet okay so this is a english sentence but if you look at this this is not giving a complete you know sense of it right the sense which it should give it is not giving that though it's a com uh, it's a complete english sentence so what parser will do is it will look for this it will take this kind of data and look for the grammar tree we say subject plus verb plus object plus other words let's consider that parser is something which is over here we are picking a kind of parser which works on english language right there are different kind of parsers right and the parser will take this particular sentence and then it will look for the tree of a particular language on which it is working right and then it will start arranging that as per the grammar tree so the grammar tree for say subject look for the subject the subject is romeo then it says look for the verb which is loved and then it says look for the object which is juliet and then the other words which which is until his death now after doing this it will give you a complete arranged sentence which will be romeo loved juliet until his death which gives you a sense a meaning of the sentence right so this is what a parser does right this is the job of a parser which means that bringing a sub bringing the supplied data as per the grammatical as per the supplied language grammatical tree and make that in a meaningful sentence right so if i take you to the jupyter notebook let's try to you know use the html parser here i have this particular url right i will provide this url in the description section which you can use this is a dummy website which we can use for web scrapping okay without any you know problem so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use a request library use the request library and make a let's have a look at its content first okay page and then we here we're gonna say request rqst if you see this is the alias which i have given to it okay request dot get and in this i am going to supply this particular url okay now we got this okay now after getting this particular thing let's check the status code first status code which is 200 that means the request is accepted and it's perfectly fine which i have explained in my previous videos now after getting this what we're gonna do is we're gonna check out its content if you see the content you see how hazy does it looks right you see how hazy is it looking so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a page soup i will make a page soup and here i'm going to use bs bs is nothing but the alias for beautiful soup which i have given over here right and then here i am going to supply that particular object in which i have extracted the script from the website now if you see this doesn't look in a more perfect way so what i will do is i will use here html parser and then i will do the parsing of this and then after i will try to you know print this particular thing and let's see what happens you know you see over here if you can see over here you see how better is it looking let me show you a comparative view of it okay so here i will just take page content only right and i'll show it to you now if i ask you that look for a title which says all products book to scrap right i want you to search for that particular thing in this text right 
it's gonna take time for you to find that it's here right it's right here but if I ask you to look for this thing in this particular document you can find that very easily over here so this is the job this this become possible just because of this HTML parser right it brings everything as per the HTML tree HTML tree is something which I have explained in the previous video you can check that out link is given in the description section okay so now this kind of job is done by the parser parser is something which simplifies this you know extracted scripts as per the HTML tree because here we are using the HTML parser okay now the, uh, this was about the parser how many types or parser are there so to know that there are some basic parsers which we can use and those are given over here in this documentation again I will be sharing the link of this documentation in the description check that out here are some of the parsers their typical uses advantages and disadvantages are given over here I highly recommend you to go through this and have an understanding and whatever you feel required you can use that but if you don't want to go through it don't worry about it okay because as we progress in this series we will be making use of different parsers whatever fits well in a given situation okay so we will do that coming back over here in the board now the next thing which comes is what is what all are the steps involved in scrapping the data so first step is to request and get the script which we just did right over here here you see we use the request library and we use the get method to get the script from this particular website we got that then the next step which comes is get content out out of that so you saw we tried to get the content out of that okay we get that over here then what we do is we make a soup of that of the same right so here we made a soup of this right you see we just created a soup of that now after that what we need to do is do the scrapping I mean we can we are all set to proceed further with the scrapping which in the previous video we did on a basic label right which we can see over here after scrapping we made this kind of data frame we scrapped this HTML script and we made this kind of data frame if you have not seen that yet check out that so this is how we can make you this is the process we can follow to do the scrapping first get the script from the website then check out the content then make a soup of it and then start with your scrapping as we progress we will keep on adding the stages into it but these are the basic stages now when we proceed further with scrapping so there are certain objects which are involved and which we use so majorly there are four objects which we use first one is tag the other one is navigable string then comes beautiful soup and then comes the comments these are the objects which we will be learning in our upcoming videos one by one until then happy learning wish you very all the best